Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Cool at 100X. Make sure you get yourself a Tay Rick T-shirt and get the full phone on your back. Available at Express Shirt. Link will be in the description below. We make this way. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Cool at 100X, and your boy controlling Tay Rick. But we're gonna lead Tay Rick to the side a little bit, man. And we're gonna be focusing on. Uh, the best finishing badges to use, man. I'm going to give you a couple of variations that you can use on Hall of Fame. Gold, silver, bronze, any type of badges that you want. I feel as though that would be dominant for you as far as any position that you want. Because I've been reading through the badges. Some of these badges are good. Some of these badges are not good to use. But I'm going to give you a couple of variations that you can use if you got 30 potential badges or even lower or something like that. Now we're going to go over Acrobat, man. Acrobat get pretty good. I do recommend Acrobat because Acrobat spins, half spins, hop steps, euro steps, cradles, reverses, changes the shot attempts, receive a significant boost. So I would put this on Hall of Fame. If I was you, I would definitely try to get this on Hall of Fame, man, because if you have Acrobat, it do brings a little dominant to the game now i don't know um th this is my variation i said the first one be acrobat but i'm gonna give you a couple of variations where where i used to use an nba 2k19 my driving dynamic because i like i used to drive to the rim a lot if you like seeing my mixtape from last year um and see a couple of my game plays on the stream i do like driving a lot in 2k19 and i felt as though these were um the best badges the dynamic that made it a little bit more cooler which was relentless finisher on hall of fame um uh, another one that i liked um that had the same dynamic from last year which would be pro touch hall of fame um I do like slithery finisher. Increases player ability to slide through traffic and avoid contact through there. You can definitely try a slithery finisher if you have these potential badges. And um, the next one I would recommend if you really want to dive into the dynamic of driving to the rim consistently. I don't do teardroppers, so if you do do teardroppers, that would be a good choice for you to use. But if you really want to be dominant automatically, I do recommend fancy footwork the reason why i say fancy footwork is my the most dominant badge in the game to me as far as being a driver to the rim because i'm pro i mean i'm a master of it so i did i did make a driver player this year but to be truly honest with you fancy footwork is the most dominating badge if you want to drive if you know how to hop step and go around a defender well crawford or something like that this would be the badge for you if you like crawford um players get a pass defenders more effectively by performing euro steps craters hop steps spins and half spins and gathers the gathers is really what makes this uh badge a little bit more dominant across the field now as me as a player i I do recommend all the badges I just choose, but this badge that I choose, I think that will be the most dominant badge. If you are this type of player that likes to run fast breaks, I love to run fast breaks. The faster we score, the faster we get back on defense and get the ball back to score again. <laughs> I do recommend putting this on Hall of Fame, giving an additional boost to player takeover meter and successfully dunking on a fast break. So automatically on a fast break, you're actually dunking and you're moving the ball at the same time, which makes this badge a dominant badge across the board. Now, another badge a lot of people do not give any credit to. I think that's pretty, pretty cool in a way. I don't know if it works or not, but it's two badges that makes me confused. It's three, actually. It's going to be Contact Finisher, Consistent Finisher, and Giant Slayer. And uh, an honorable mention, Cross Key, Cross Key Score. Now, I've never seen anybody break this down yet, but cross key score boosts the ability to make running hooks, layups, and long range pull ups while driving across the paint. Now, the reason why I say cross key, a lot of people is not talking about cross key, is that if you put this on Hall of Fame, you can run across. Like, let's say if you're trying to uh, come off a pick and you run around a pick and you got that space, you'll be able to pull across key from this badge. So if 
I would try it on Hall of Fame. If not, I would just put it on silver just to see what it can do or bronze. Just to see. But I just got this funny feeling. This badge here is a game changer if you're making a driving type of player. And you want to move out the, out the uh, pick and roll and go around the key and definitely do a lot of damage across there as well. Now, another one is contact finisher. All my dunkers out there, slashes who like to play below the rim, finish contact layups and successfully while dunking, able to pull off more contact dunks. This would be for my dunkers, man, slashers and all that stuff that like to go to the rim and definitely had this. I wish I had this badge with my player, uh, which is kind of cool, but you have to build them with a little bit of weight. But I don't know if you can really have this badge be more effective with the lowest weight. So you probably got to play with the weight to see if contact finisher would be more uh, inducive for you to use at the end of the rim. So I would definitely recommend probably using this on gold or kind, you know, you know, uh, silver, if you got a lower weight player, but if you got a high weight player and you know how you can slash in the room, put it on Hall of Fame, I do recommend it. Now, my next one, I was looking at this badge, uh, consistent finisher. Uh, penalties for mistimed layups are reduced, allow players to make layups more consistently. Now, what I didn't understand about this badge, I, th I thought it was a dope badge when I saw it. But ain't this the same as Pro gives extra shot boost for slightly early, slightly late, or excellent shot timing on layups? <laughs> ain't this the same badge as consistent finisher? If you really wanna, if you really wanna break it down, it's kind, it's kind of the same badge. So I'm like, this kind of a waste of badge points. Either, either one, you still getting the same result. So. You can either put this one on Hall of Fame or this one on Hall of Fame. It really doesn't matter because they basically mean the same. If anybody noticed that, I don't know if I'm the only one, but you know, reduces penalty for poorly released layups and gives additional boost for having good layup timing. It's like having a poor relate. That's like having a poor layup, but having good timing behind it. Is this the same thing? Having a poor timing with a better release and it reduces the penalty. So I'm like, do these badge even stack? So that's another thing I will look into as well if you're a contact finisher. But that would be my badge breakdown for that. You don't need deep hooks, drop stepper. If you are like, you know, showtime, you don't need none of that. But if you're a put back boss, you can. I don't really recommend those badges because I don't, I don't do none of that stuff. So I can't really tell you <laughs> on experience on what those badges is. Teardropper, I really don't do any teardroppers unless I'm messing around. But yeah, you can definitely put that on Hall of Fame, increases floaters and stuff like that. So that's pretty much my badge breakdown for the finisher badges that I recommend using. I hope you enjoy, man. Definitely go to the park and show them niggas what time it was. I hope this video would definitely help you out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and also make sure you go to my Patreon. I forgot to say at the beginning of the video. <laughs> make sure you go to my Patreon. Uh, link in the description below for advanced tip tricks and tutorials about NBA 2K20 and other stuff as well. And link will be in the description below if you're interested. Also, make sure you check out the merch for Tay Rick's gear and stuff like that. Link will be in the description below. And make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, no, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Friday. <laughs> make sure you sometimes on the weekend. I don't know. Make sure you uh follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description below. You should be seeing links by so for that so i hope you enjoyed the video take this shit to the park and show them niggas what time it was i'm out of here deuces guys